Nick Marzak with Full Compass. We are off the show floor of Infocom 25 now and in a demo room here with Meyer Sound. And uh, it, I can't believe what I was hearing through the wall. This place was packed for the demo, but uh, through the wall, I could hear immense sound. I thought there was going to be a raise and all kinds of stuff, subs on the floor. No, it's just this. Can you talk about, first of all, the Gen 1 uh, card, which is the big announcement here at Infocom, but also Astria, because I couldn't believe the sound coming through the wall. Absolutely. Thanks for having us, Nick. Thanks for taking time to come to the demo room. Uh, Astria 140, it's our new cinema loudspeaker system. It's a big screen channel, as you can see. What's really fun about having it at Infocom is this isn't a cinema show. Everyone knows it's not a cinema show, but we have this and we have new technology in it that's relevant to the in-store market because in Astria 140, we've got DSP processing built in on board and it's receiving AES67. And it's our first product with the Gen 1 card in that's making all that happen. So Gen, Galileo Extended Networking. That means we have our Galileo Galaxy output channel built in, all the Maya sound tools for calibration that we rely on. And the extended networking is about choices on connectivity. So at the moment in this product, it's running on AES67. It also features analog inputs and it's going to be expanded into the Milan world as well. So it's a one card solution for the connectivity of the industry moving forward. But we've got Astro 140 here because it sounds so cool. And also it's amazing to show people a couple of different tracks on Astra. It's called 140 because it's for the biggest cinema exhibition rooms, 140 feet long rooms. But in here, we're playing sound, we're playing tracks with detail and clarity, like you're listening to a near field monitor mm -hmm. and then filling the room with just two loudspeakers, which is just so much fun to show people what we're about, what our tech is all about. Yeah, I mean, that's what you said out there. You said, well, that's just two speakers. You walk in and these are the two, or there's a pair of these. This is not what you find in a home theater. Um, that's what I love about Meyer Sound though, is that there's such a commitment to the science and the research and R&D and innovation. It's kind of how the company was, you know, built uh, by John and Helen Meyer in Berkeley, California, man. Uh, and and now you're taking that technology and implementing it into things like this. Like this is unbelievable size. <laughs> Absolutely. And and it's it's the transducer technology, it's the amplifier technology, it's the digital technology. Every new product we come up with, we we learn something new. There's always research going on at Maya Sound as well as product development. And that can be carried across different products. So we also have X80 here, we also have the 2100s. Well, there's a lot of driver DNA shared between all these products. There's a lot of amplifier. DNA and it's crossing over everything we do and it's all with that idea of pushing the boundaries more what can we do where can we go how do we make it more musical how do we make it more transparent yeah and also how do we make it easier for people that's awesome so much commitment to tech and speaking of that we're going to go now back to the show floor to the Meyer booth and uh, see some of the software that they have all right, continuing our coverage of Myers Sound, and now I'm with, oh, it's Andy again. Hey again. <laughs> so I didn't know he was coming with us. Uh, we're so happy to have you. Let's talk about Nebra Software Solutions. I mentioned how devoted this company is to science and innovation. Well, here it is, you know, on screens as well, not just in the speakers. Thanks, Nick. Thanks for, uh, thanks for following me over here. It's a long walk at this show. So for anyone who's at the show who's coming to our booth and the demo room, thank you for taking the walk. Uh, so yeah. That's why we do this, so people at home don't have to make that walk. Great. So uh, Nebra Nebra's a software product that we launched a few years ago, and it started out life as a connection management tool and a monitoring tool. So lots of our users are using it. Yep. Part of our fun demo is we're doing network connections live on stage, which sounds crazy, but it's really, really simple in the Milan world with Nebra to make connections, get your system up and running. But we're not done there. We always uh, said, wait, there's more. But wait, there's more is literally from our demo reel. So well done. That was perfectly, perfectly put. Uh, there's more. What we're creating is a new software ecosystem and it's based around the modern workflows. We never had to think about digital connectivity in the past. Now it's at the heart of everything we do. So we're putting it at the heart of how people use their systems. Get it up and running, find all the devices, connect it, Give them something really nice and simple to understand the system with and also monitor it, look after it. So in Nebra, we have integrated health monitoring and I'm turning away from the camera, which hopefully everybody will be cool with to do the demo. Um, and so we have this green tick in the bottom left hand corner. 
whatever you're doing, whatever screen you're looking at, yeah. Nebra's got your back. It's having a look at everything that's out there. Uh, it's looking at limiters, voltage, temperature, the health of the digital connections, the Milan connections, are they stable, are they good? And that means you don't have to stare at this screen yeah. all the way through the show. You don't have to stare at hundreds of meters to know if anything's in trouble. Nebra's got it for you, it's looking at it. What does it look like if something is wrong? What happens? It, really simple, we follow the traffic light rule. If we want to alert you to something and say, hey, you should probably pay attention to this, but it's not a gig killer. Yeah. Look at the, it goes orange. It goes orange and then you can go down to this bar, you can click on it, it'll tell you exactly where it is. You can click through to go and have a look. Awesome. And of course, red is, uh, you really need to look at this. Something's happened, something's happened. Someone's turned something off yeah. somewhere. <laughs> something's happened. Here's something that's a, a strong warning. Something's going on. So it's just a simple traffic light code. And you know it's always watching in the background. And that's even cooler because of what we're about to launch with Nebra 2 later in the year is we're bringing processing control in. So we're simply everything into one place. Bingo, simplify the workflow. I don't want to jump between different bits of software to do different things. I want to stay in one place and work. So I'm going to go back to the screen. All right, it's Bill out. And what we're introducing is this processor option. So now it's as simple as go to the processing. It opens up my overview page. Any Maya sound users, they're going to be super familiar with this because we didn't take away anything that people already loved. They're used to an overview page that's quick, simple to navigate around. But the really cool it thing. look great. Like the interface, it looks great. It's we're, clean. We're really proud of the new GUI and how it works, how it works in different lighting conditions. Yeah. Uh, we spend a lot of time working with uh, UX designers around how things look, how we see things, what the color schemes are that really work for people and a really diverse range of people as well in how people see. Um, one of the cool things is now we can scroll. So if I expand the number of inputs that are on the network, that gives me more channels. They don't all fit on the screen. I can just scroll up and down them. As we add more processes, you can scroll up and down all the processes, which means you can multi-select on really big systems really quickly. You can navigate around hundreds of channels really simply, really effectively. And it's got all these tools in here to make it quick, but Coming back to my original point about Nebra, it's always got your back. Yeah. During the show, if I'm making tweaks, if I'm working during sound check on calibrating, all the time, I'm monitoring. I know I don't have to look at all the meters. I know I don't have to look at all the limiters. I know that the health of all my cabinets is good, so I don't have to have multiple screens open. That's so great. How many, how many effect, like, uh, this is all, this is all Meyer sound, uh, Effects that there's no third party processing? No third party processing in here. It's all Maya Sound DSP. So, what we're showing on the screen here is a Galaxy processor, which we currently use for loudspeaker processing. But back in the demo room with Astria, we talked about the Gen 1 input card. Yeah. Gen 1 is actually the first product that Nebra 2 is going to do processing for because it's going to control the processing in that new input card following that on with Galaxy. And that's another good thing about this piece of software is we're designing it for multiple pieces of DSP. So we'll bring everything together. Whether your DSP is in the loudspeaker, whether it's in one of our processors, it'll all line up here together. You can access it all in the same place. It's also the little touches. Can you bring up the, the matrix um, where you can control delay and, uh, and the levels? Absolutely. So in Galaxy, we have this cross point gain and delay matrix. It's really valued by system techs. But one of the bits of feedback that we took from them was if I'm in gain mode, yeah. I can't see what's been set in delay. Right. So if I switch between them and go to delay matrix, how do I know what's been set in my gain? Yeah. And so what we've done so is well, the more you add, the, the more overwhelming that matrix can look. Exactly. We give more tools. Maybe accidentally, we hid some things from people. Yeah. And so what we've done with Nebra 2 is exposed that, made it easier. So here I am in delay mode. You can see there's a delay just here on this cross point. Yep. But also, all these cross points up here, they have color. And that color is showing me that they are set in the level matrix. Ah. When I'm in the level matrix, I have shading that shows me something set in the delay. So whichever one I'm looking at, yeah. nothing's hidden from me. There's visual cues all the way through of something that I've done. That is so great. Nebra 2, that is coming out soon. And uh, we have one more place to look at in this booth, right? Yeah. Awesome, all right, let's go there. All right, finally, we recognize this from Infocom last year, the Ultra X40, Ultra X80, Ultra X20, the Ultra family. Um, 
But tying in the beginning of the video together, what's exciting about uh, the Ultra X, the Ultra Fan? Of course, there's a reason we're showing it again, Nick. Uh, and yeah, we talked about the Gen 1 card at the beginning of this series of videos. And at Infocom 25, we're announcing that the Gen 1 card is coming to the Ultra X family. So the first products that are going to get Gen 1 later this year with AS67 is going to be the X40 products. So this is known by so many people. It's an incredible point source box. Yes. It's really multi-purpose. Now with AS67, it's going to open us up to even more of the install market who want to use this product. They want that legendary Maya Sound sound. Next year, Gen 1 is going to come into Ultra X80. And for that product, because it's a slightly newer generation of product, only launched last year, uh, the X80 is going to get Gen 1 as standard later next year. And it's going to be a user upgradable option. So anybody who's got it in their inventory, they can choose to invest in Gen 1 as a card, save on their Galaxy channels, and they get an upgrade option for their X80. More on that next year next year <laughs> at infocom next year that's where we'll see you but in the meantime go to fullcompass.com to check out everything from meyer sound there's speakers there's software there's software for the speakers there's cards for the speakers for the software there's just so much innovation happening at meyer sound so check it out at fullcompass.com and as always keep it right here for more coverage of infocom 25 thanks so much and i appreciate it nick thank you so much yeah. for having it